Hi lovely earth signs, welcome to Joy Energy Tarot, I'm Jenny. This is an intuitive guided reading for the week of July the 19th to the 25th and if it resonates with you, please push like, subscribe and notify and if it doesn't, uh, don't worry, go and watch someone else. Just watch out for scammers though because they'll try and rip you off and ask you for money and I will certainly not be contacting you, you need to contact me if you want a reading. So just do that by emailing me at joyenergytarot at gmail.com. Right, we're going to do an intuitive reading for the week and then have a guided message for um, Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. Okay, so let's get on with it. Okay, so if you've got a 19 or a 1 in your chart, that means that you are a born leader. You know how to lead, take control, you're a problem solver. The downside of it is, of it is that you need to overcome your own limiting self-beliefs and that um, your imagination can run wild if you've got problems. You know, you need to write things down. This goes through to the 25th. 2 and a 5 is a 7. If you've got this in your chart, you're a thinker as well. But you love to learn. You'll be learning all your life. You're a hard person to get to know because you're quite private and you're quite happy in your own company. Okay, so let's get on with the week. The week. There's no such thing as time in the spirit world, so we'll take those two guided messages. Okay, so some of you are working really hard at something. You could be just working really hard at work to earn money, okay? Um, head down, bum up, just shut yourself away and going for it. This can be working hard at your security too, or for some of you working hard at a relationship, but it makes you feel quite happy and quite contented, and you're in touch now with your own intuition and following your own um, guidance. This is the card too of the motherly, caring, generous woman who's intuitive, and you can always go to her um, to seek advice as well. But for some of you, it could be your mum around you or someone really lovely like that who's around you that you um, have a great relationship with. And you could be others of you, you'll be working hard at that relationship with your mum. Right, yeah, I just got that. Let's see what's going to happen Tuesday approximately. You're weighing up your options, okay? Um, what's going to make me happy? And for some of you, it's weighing up and balancing money. And you can see one of the masks is sad and one that is happy. So you spend your money on something that makes you happy. For the rest of you, it's just taking that, um, making that decision on, on weighing up what you want in your life or which direction you're going in, that sort of thing. But working on your security and making yourself feel good. And right next to it is, is the... Um, the dearest wish card I got thrown because you've actually got two lovely nine and ten here so you're progressing in your relationships so this is like dreams coming true so you're weighing up your options and you've got your dreams are coming true or wishes fulfilled so that means you've got the capacity to do that but you still have to go out and put in some work to make it happen earth signs okay so you've got things are happening for you and going to make you feel very very happy so for those of singles of, um, who are out there you've been manifesting or putting out there what you really want and now your wishes are going to come true and you're going to feel very happy for the, for the rest of you whatever you're doing or deciding um, how you're living your life you're quite content in where you're at in doing that okay which is wonderful okay Wednesday approximately Okay, so some of you have been waiting for something or some news to come in. You've been hanging around waiting and waiting. Um, but look at things differently. Take a different point of view. And once you start thinking uh, differently or looking outside the square, things will then start happening for you. And this is going to enable you to go off in a new direction. So you've got to look at things differently to make this move happen. All right. So Thursday... And what have we got Thursday? So some of you are feeling a little bit of a sadness or a bit of a loss. Um, this is a card of feeling lack. So that's where you need to bring in your positive affirmations. Money always flows easily to me. But sometimes you might be just feeling sad over a loss or a lack of um, some goal you haven't achieved or because COVID took it away from you, that sort of thing. Um, just feeling down. But this is a five. Fives are choices, freedom, communication. So move forward and choose to think positively. All right. Let's have a clarifier for that, please. A clarifier for the five of pentacles. 
Yes, yeah, so some of you are feeling sad about family. You might be reminiscing, looking back to when you had happier times with your family, feeling sad about your family. This is a five as well. So, oh no, it's a six, sorry. So you're moving forward, but you're thinking about family. Some of you, it can be thinking about past relationships um, with other like lovers or boyfriends or girlfriends, whatever. But um, for some of you, it's looking back with about family and, and wanting that happy family feeling back or feeling sad about your family, okay? But you're going to have the contentment that you've wanted. Um, there you are feeling secure about your money. Things are going to work out okay because you've been carrying a lot of burdens. You're standing there now pausing, thinking, what next? You've seen the growth for all your hard work, for whatever these burdens are. For some of you, it's where you're working really hard. For others of you, it's the stress and the workload that you've been carrying. You've seen results for all that workload, but now you're pausing because you want things to change. And I feel that they are changing and for the good okay and that's going to bring about a healing for you because some of you are quite tired and you need a rest and you need a healing okay so right we now want the friday approximately yep there's somebody lovely and strong there now this can either be you taking back your control and feeling quite passionate about your beliefs what you want you've been working really hard to get where you are and, and um, feeling quite proud and strong about where you're at for others of you this is the the boss man who's around you someone really strong and um, in control and you can go to them for advice so but I feel that the rest of you you're feeling quite strong and passionate about where you're at and what you're doing in your life so <clears throat> that's for the weekend no it's Friday sorry Friday and a clarifier Yep, you're transitioning. Actually, I think everybody's going through changes at the moment. So many people have got new beginnings in their readings. So something's happening up there in the universal um, side of things. So here you've got um, your life is transitioning into uh, something quite different. And you've got the ability to make it happen. You are going to be communicating heaps to people. This is where you're just as in touch with earth as you are with heaven you're rounded um, in control like you're you've got your thoughts your belief systems your emotions and your physical life all in balance and you can manifest whatever you want and you can make happen whatever you want and get your own way but in a nice way of course okay and for the weekend we've got I forgot to say after I've done this We'll have the oracle messages for Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo here. Messages from above, okay? Right, and the weekend. Things are going to change quite suddenly, okay? So go with those changes. And it's like you might have wanted change and been too scared to do anything about it. Well, it's now out of your hands. Something's going to happen suddenly that's going to bring about the change. Let's see. What is the clarifier for the tower, please? Clarifier for the tower, please. Yeah, you're going to be changing and going and doing something that's life-changing too, a life-changing decision here, something that you'll be learning, you're moving forward into something quite different. For those of you that are a bit scared of change, this is a car that says jump in, don't hesitate, do it. All right? Okay, so that's for your week. And now let's see what your guided messages are. So this week they're from Kyle Gray. Okay, from the guided um, angel guide book, oracle book. So we'll start with Capricorn. You've got listen deeply. Are you listening? You know who you are. <laughs> Look at that. Listen deeply. The whispers of your inner voice are subtle and it takes patience and willingness to hear them. Often this voice can seem intensely honest and direct, but that's because it wants us to hone in on truth in order to grow. Often we don't like the truth the inner voice is giving us and we refuse to listen. But all we are doing is blocking the guidance that is coming forward for us. The truth of the matter is that our inner voice is always working in our favour and divine guidance is always loving and supportive. It will be direct and insightful but won't make us feel low. If you're unsure about what information is guidance and what is based on fear or ego, call on your angels to help you hear and understand the information that's rising up within you. 
You can also invite them to clear old messages so that you can have more space energetically for guidance that is relevant to the present moment. Okay, that's for you Capricorn. And for single Capricorns, I've got some guided um, love cards here from Doreen Virtue. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Okay, Capricorn. Some of you who are just meeting somebody, this is the love of your life. Lucky you. And you've got pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Woohoo! So you're still going to have to be awake and be wary. Um, and that would possibly be towards somebody else, not towards this one, because this one's telling you that it's true love, the romance of a lifetime. But maybe there's something in there that need, you need to learn that, that there's a bit of a warning there. And your direction cards are divine directions. Heal. You have a natural gift for healing through your hands, words or actions. Okay, Capricorn. Wait. Don't, oh, take time to think on the matter at hand and don't be tempted to rush. That's a good um, point. Don't have to rush anything. Take everything at the right time. All right. And now we've got Taurus. You have got Sacred Plan. Right. Sacred Plan. And there it is. Sacred Plan, Taurus. If you're trying to force a plan into action, the angelic guidance is to back down and trust in the greater God. Often when something isn't happening for us, we're frustrated, but that's only because we don't see that our perfect plan is unfolding. When your ideas or plans go wrong, trust that the universe has a greater plan for you. And the greater plan isn't something that has already been chosen for you. It's more of a culmination of all of your life's intentions prayers and actions washing back towards you with opportunities and experiences. Call on your angels to light up the path ahead. You may feel that you're fading or you're facing the unknown, but know that they that you are always guided and protected, Taurus. Okay? And for the singles out there, you have got engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay, so that's for some of you. And deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Uh-oh. It's not for everyone. But it's those of you who will you'll recognize it if it's you, if you've been thinking like that. Okay. And now we've got Virgo. Spiritual growth. Here's your lovely card, Virgo. Spiritual growth. Every experience is a learning experience. You are a student of life and spirit. And what has happened in your life hasn't happened to you. It's happened for you. You have incredible resilience and the capacity to overcome whatever darkness or unknown you face. No matter what has been served to you, you've done everything within your right, might and power to face it and find a way forward. Angels are acknowledging your determination and the positive, kind-hearted and upbeat energy that has allowed you to become the wonderful person you are today, Virgo. You may feel that your spiritual gifts are opening much more at this time. Be aware of any visions, psychic insights or connections you develop as they will be pivotal to your growth. Okay, and your messages for the singles. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. All right. And stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And your divine direction cards are teach. You have a wonderful gift for working with others. Have you considered teaching, Virgo? And um, passion. Passion isn't confined to sexual energy. Life is meant to be felt. Don't hold back. All right. Okay, thank you, lovely people. If this resonates, please push like, subscribe, and notify. And thank you so much for watching. Blessings to you all. Have a wonderful weekend and week. And I'll see you again. Ka kite anō. See you again.